All right, y'all, welcome to the show. I have a really, really fun one for you today, if I'm being honest. So uh, we're going to start with something serious. I have to break down for you what's called Project 2025, which is an amalgamation of right-wing think tanks. They got together and they decided, here's the agenda for the next Republican president. Now, they're all thinking it's likely going to be Trump, but even if it's not Trump, if it's DeSantis or Vivek Ramaswamy, they have a plan to hit the ground running and get their policy objectives accomplished very, very quickly. So I need to lay out for you what those policy objectives are. And I got to be honest, this is terrifying. This is the far right being more organized than we've ever seen them before. And there's organizational structure, and they basically have a government in waiting. So that the second a Republican gets elected in the first 180 days, they can go in there and clean house. So we're going to talk about that. I'm going to lead with that in just a second. We also have uh, in impeachment inquiry into Biden has officially been launched. We'll talk about that. I have some reaction from Democrats. And then the really fun stuff, in my opinion, uh, Breaking Points did a focus group in New Hampshire of Republican voters. And we have content to react to for days. And then we have the Young Turks, Michael Shore, went to a Trump rally and interviewed some of the people there. And we got some surprising things that they said. And we got some wacky things that they said, and we're going to dive into all of it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it here. And by the way, you know the shameless plugs. Everybody do me a big old favor and click like and subscribe. Still desperately trying to stay ahead of my wife in the subscriber number. Um, so hook your brother up with a subscription. All right, let's, let's jump into it here. Project 2025 is this ominous, creepy sounding thing. And uh, you know what? It is ominous and it is creepy. What this is, is an amalgamation of right-wing think tanks got together literally dozens of right-wing think tanks. They put aside their differences, they got together, and they released a 920-page document. And in this document, they lay out, all right, here's our plans moving forward. Here's what we're going to do the second that we get a, uh, a Republican president in office. So let me go ahead and show you some headlines on this here. Salon says, Dark right-wing network recruits MAGA army to replace 50,000 federal workers Trump plans to purge. Project 2025 is extremist new plan to set fire to our democracy, watchdog group warns. There's an article about this in PBS as well. Conservatives aim to restructure U.S. government and replace it with Trump's vision. So they had a little gathering in late August. I want to show you in their own words what they're in favor of. By the way, credit to a uh, friend of the show, um, Humanist Report, Mike Figueredo. Listen to, in their own words, what they want to do here. We are going to pre be prepared day one, January 20, 2025, to hit the ground running as, a, as conservatives to really help the next president. This task in 2024 is too big for any one think tank. This has to be a movement. And what we've done is use our convening power here at Heritage to bring the entire movement together. But what we're doing- Note all these names coming across the screen. These are all right-wing think tanks that were involved in putting aside their differences and getting together to lay out a clear agenda for the next Republican president. Or is too big for any one think tank. This has to be a movement. And what we've done is use our convening power here at Heritage to bring the entire movement together. But what we're doing is systematically preparing to march into office and bring a new army of aligned, trained, and essentially weaponized conservatives ready to do battle against the deep state. You have the Republicans being ready on day one in a way that we've never seen before. At the beginning of the Trump administration, it was very messy. It was scattershot. He was trying desperately to fill positions. Um, you didn't have an army in waiting, as they say to get in there and push a conservative agenda. So what you have is a 920 page document. And the main point is, all right, we're gonna brace, embrace what's called unitary executive theory. Now, for those of you that don't know what this is, back during the Bush Cheney years, during the war on terror, this is what, this is the philosophy they embraced. And the idea is no more checks and balances, no more congressionally approved positions. We're gonna give the president more power than they are constitutionally allowed to have. And in this instance, what they're saying is they want to reclassify federal employees to what's called 
Schedule F employees. Now, what that does is it allows them to fire workers with impunity. And they plan to fire at least 50,000 of them. So normally, you'd have these uh, career civil servants who have some degree of protection, but making them Schedule F means they basically have no more protection and they can be fired. Now, uh, Trump previously had put into place Schedule F, but he just didn't act in a unilateral fashion to fire, you know, 100,000 plus federal employees. This time, that's exactly what they're planning to do. Invoke Schedule F, fire at least 50,000 employees. By the way, Biden, when he came into office very early on, he replaced the categorization of the federal workers as Schedule F to give them their civil servant status back and protect them. Uh, Trump or any Republican is going to come in there and do the opposite. Make them Schedule F, fire them. So what does that mean functionally? Well, it means they're going to totally dismantle the administrative state. So no more EPA or a functionally destroyed EPA that doesn't do EPA stuff. No more Department of Justice or a Department of Justice that's directly under the control of Trump in a way where even think about last time when he was trying to steal the election. He told Bill Barr, he's pressuring Bill Barr to use the Department of Justice to his advantage. And Bill Barr refused. He said, no, I'm not going to do that because this isn't true. This isn't right. They want to make it so that you have a total Trump sycophant and lackey who is completely under the thumb of the president. So no agency, even in theory anymore, would be uh, independent. Every agency would be under the thumb of the president in a way that's more direct than we've ever seen before. So they want to get rid of the Department of Education. They want no more Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. They want no more Department of Health and Human Services. No more Department of Labor. It is an outright assault on the entire administrative state. Now, in the document, they go further and they lay out other policy priorities. So one thing, which is, again, beyond terrifying, is not only do they want to gut environmental law, you know, Clean Water Act, Clean Air Act, Trump already uh, sort of weaken them massively. Biden came in and reversed that, but they not only want to weaken them massively, they want to make it so that not only do we not have EPA protections, they want to ban individual states, even blue states, from doing their own environmental laws. Think about how extreme this is. They are absolutely, positively, highly organized. All these groups put aside their differences, got together, organized, released a 920-page document, and they're ready to hit the ground running. Other things they lay out in there, there's a lot of Christian theocratic elements where they talk about putting the family at the center of American life again. There's uh, definite shots at the LGBTQ community. Um, They view it as degeneracy and a perversion. And again, that's laid out clearly in the document. They want to criminalize abortion. That's obvious. All of them have always wanted to do that. But they want to even bring it to the point where they would criminalize sending abortion pills by mail. This is an overreach the likes of which we haven't seen. They say in the document they want to outlaw pornography. So this is uh, basically a right-wing fever dream come to life. Or maybe I should say a right-wing wet dream come to life. And they lay it out in crystal clear detail. And this is something that should be a shot in the arm to anybody who's moderate, centrist, center-left, on the left, whatever, even moderate Republicans, honestly. Because this, I think, would uh, offend the sensibilities of reasonable Republicans. That the real goal here is to basically do an authoritarian takeover of government, do it in the image of Trump, make it so there's no checks and balances, make it so uh, there's no ability to rein him in when he goes too far, and make it so there's a far-right wish list that gets implemented, and they do it, again, within the first 180 days. So this should uh, really wake you up to the reality of what we're dealing with here, man. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. And who's to say that if they win and they carry this out, who's to say that in one Democratic administration after this, you'd be able to fix all these problems? If you totally destroy the EPA and the DOJ and the Department of Education and the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau and Health and Human Services and the Department of Labor, if you totally destroy all those, it's more than an eight-year project to rebuild them and make them functional again. If you fire 50,000, 100,000 civil servants, people that actually carry out the policy agenda, it's hard to to fix that in, in one term or two terms from a Democratic president. 
So this unitary executive theory is uh, honestly terrifying when you talk about it in the hands of a far right government. And uh, they're not, they're not papering over it, man. They are very straightforward and direct with what they want to do. So you've been warned. You've been warned. This is what they've been working on. You could clearly see the difference between the left and the right. The right is highly organized. They're ready to hit the ground running. And um, basically, by any and all means necessary, we have to prevent the, these wheels from being put in motion. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.